Hey team, welcome back to HD Designs Crochet, HDVC. Today we are making a crochet a granny square bag, but it's not just any bag, like you need this bag in your life. I hope that you're tickety-boo. I hope that wherever you are, you are finding some moments of calm and that there is plenty of crochet action going on. As you can see, I have a stack of granny squares laid out in front of me and they are about to become the bag of dreams. Let me tell you a little bit about the bag. So iconic is the crochet bag you need. Like I know I said that, but trust me, who doesn't need a granny bag that is a low key outfit statement piece? Like it's made entirely from crochet. There's no fabric, no sewing machine involved. There's no sewing. It is all crochet, crochet hook action. This bag is fully lined and it holds its own shape thanks to the magical reinforcement panels. And the addition of the metal hardware make the bag oh so modern yet timeless. Iconic is a head turning little granny square addition to your wardrobe. So to make this bag, you start by batch making a stack of two round granny squares. And then the granny squares are joined using the continuous join as you go method. Um, and then the lining pieces are crocheted and sandwiched together to make the reinforcement panels. You then graft the granny squares onto the reinforcement panels. Then you crochet all the bag pieces together. You add on the hardware, clip on the strap and ta-da! you have a granny square bag. Now, in this clip that you can see here, I'm actually sat on our bed and I'm watching a vlog on YouTube on our TV screen. I think this is most likely to be a small business vlog, but there's a few other things I also really enjoy watching. And I'm, at the moment, I'm putting the granny panels together so as I said, my method is to make a stack of granny squares and then sit and join them all using the continuous join as you go method. This is a game changer. Once you've unlocked this skill, your life will be forever different. And don't worry if you're thinking, okay, how am I gonna learn this? I've got you. I've got written and video instructions for continuous join as you go, and loads of other granny square magic in my HDDC granny square guide and I've linked it below at the bottom of this video so you can download it. There's a free version and if you feel moved to do so, you can also buy the paid for version, which is just 99p. and putting together the granny square panels. Brad and Teddy have actually gone for a walk. Brad's giving me half hour to myself, which is absolute bliss. Next on my to-do list is to weave in all of the ends, but before you settle in, let me show you the bag part so far. I have one or two panels left to fix up before this, and then I can start constructing the bag.
Okay, so as I was saying, the ends, I need to weave them all in. I will say it again and I'll say it till I'm blue in the face. Weave your ends in as you go. Don't set yourself up and leave them all till the end. Like, just don't do it to yourself. They don't even take that long and they can be enjoyable. Right, headphones in, Audible on. I'm not sponsored, but Audible, if you do want to sponsor me, then yes, please, because I use your platform a lot. I'm listening to the Move the Needle audiobook. The author owns the Loops Knitting Shops, and wow, it's a great listen. 10 out of 10 recommend, it's so, so inspiring. Next up is to clip the granny square panels onto the reinforcement panels. So I've got these little clips that I think you use when like your sewing fabric or anything, something like that and they're really handy and I just clip the granny square panels onto where I need to crochet them and yeah then I just sit there and I crochet around and join them together. This stage is kind of soothing because it's such a mindless thing to do. Now, for a little bit of context, I am busy prepping the patterns for my Granny Square collection, which is coming out in August 2023. This bag is pattern number three that I have revealed so far. And this particular pink sample that you can see is the second sample that I've made from my photo shoot which is going to also be in August. I originally made the first prototype of this bag when I first went full-time as a crochet designer and the bag looked quite different in that it was much bigger it was a little bit more fussy in terms of the hardware I put on and also the lining was sewn so I used fabric and a sewing machine and I feel like that held the pattern back because a lot of people out there if you're a crocheter you just want to crochet and then I reimagined Iconic into a smaller version less fuss and that was like two years ago now pre-pregnancy and I just knew that to get this pattern out there, the lining needed to be crocheted. And you know what? I'm so glad that I've done it because it is a joy to make and it looks amazing. Amazing.
The next stages of this sample needed photos to be taken, which meant it was no longer a portable project. But it's no biggie because I've got loads of other projects that I can pick up. And right now you can see that I am weaving in the end on my second sample of heartstrings. Heartstrings FYI is also part of my crochet collection. And whenever I have a chunk of card time ahead of me, I take this project and then I can just get a couple of rows taken care of. Because I needed to take photos of this bag before I could continue, it did mean that I had to hit pause on it a little bit. And I'm going to admit that I took zero video footage of me constructing the bag because I was so focused on the photos. I did however get around to recording a vlog all about the crochet I've done so far this year in 2023 and both my iconic bag samples made an appearance. I'll link that video above for you so you can go and watch that if you haven't seen it already. Spoiler alert, there's a lot of granny squares included. <laughs> Would you expect anything else? also got started on the sample for my fifth pattern I've had the idea kind of percolating for months now and again I crochet to the point where photos are needed I'm not gonna lie I do prefer having one design on the go because there's just so many moving parts especially as I have five but also I know that it's just not the way I work I like to have multiple things on the go because there is so much going on, it can lead to a lot of overwhelm, especially when the yarn room is messy, like there's laundry in here. And it's just sometimes because I'm just nipping in and out during Teddy's nap time to like take a photo, to grab something, it just becomes a bit of a dumping ground. Yeah, I'm so glad that I have my planners to keep everything in order because to be honest, without them, I would have had a meltdown. And also amongst sample making, pattern writing, photo taking and getting ready for my collection we've also celebrated Teddy's first birthday, my baby! He got a bubble machine and a water play table, he adores them both. <laughs> We have had crazy hot weather to this way by time and also lots of lonely storms. All that's left on this second sample of my bag is to make the handles and at this point in time of recording this little voiceover I've already called for testers there's already 50 sign-ups as well, like, side note, 50 of you want to test my pattern. Wow, thank you so, so much. So, what do you think to Iconic? Do you need this bag? What colours will you use? What outfits will you wear it with? What events are you going to take your Iconic to? Oh my gosh, the possibilities. Please let me know below what you think. Thanks so, so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Take care team.